Hello all the colorists out there. This is Nathan bringing you another episode of Combo Coloring Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be talking about custom brushes, how you make them, how you adjust the settings, uh, get different looks and stuff like that. Uh, so what we're looking at right here so far is just a, a scan that I had done, just a scratch sheet of paper. I had uh, India ink and just different, different dabs uh, using water, without water, uh, just trying to make interesting shapes. So I get some uh, great looking textures going on. Um, out of these, out of this bunch, I think I'm more most excited about this guy right up here in the top, top right corner. So um, I had this scanned in. I think it was, yeah, 400 DPI. Uh, the reason why I like to work a little bit bigger. I'd rather have a brush that's way too big than way too small. And then when you blow it up, it gets too blurry. Or, or. So um, yeah, always uh, scan a little bit bigger. Uh, I think this was scanned in millions of colors, so you can see like some yellow in there and stuff. I'm just going to turn down the saturation on that. And we're going to pick the one that we want. Again, I said I like this guy right here. So go ahead and copy him. Open up a new document. Uh, usually I'll do it about 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. I drop it down to 200 dpi. Uh, it should give us more than enough size. So that's going to be the size of the brush that we're looking at now is so I'm just going to blow it up a little bit bigger. I don't want to make it too big because again it'll get too blurry and it won't look as good. Uh, so we can see there's still like some gray in there so just just the levels on that. I'm darkening it up a little bit. Um, great way to, to quickly adjust it uh, your lights and darks and have uh, some control over just using the dodge or the burn tool. So right here I have my burn tool. I have it set to shadows up at the top. I could just go in and just kind of give it like a little bit more darker spot than uh, the other places. And uh, kind of vice versa, I could go to my dodge tool, have it set to highlights, and I can lighten up other areas. That will just give it a little bit more interest to the shape of the brush. Um, now that I got that, I got it the size, about the size that I want, I'll go ahead and head over to, at the Photoshop menu bar, and edit. Uh, scroll down a bit, and you'll find a Define Brush Preset. I'll click on that. Uh, here's, you get the chance to uh, get your brush name. Here it'll tell you the pixel size as well. Right here it's sitting at uh, 769. I'm going to hit cancel for now. Let me enlarge that just a little bit more. I want that brush a little bit bigger. Let's try that again. Edit, define brush preset, 946. I could live with that. It's a pretty decent brush size. Um, again, this one here I can imagine doing more for like backgrounds and everything like that, so I don't need it too big. Um, you can name the brush whatever you like. Uh, sampled brush 105. I always call it dab. Why not? Uh, and that's gonna now be here in our with all of our other brushes. You can see I have tons uh, brushes that I've made, uh, stuff that I've I've downloaded from other internet sites. Um, most of the time, like I, I like to tweak them a little bit to suit my own needs. Very rarely do I find a, a brush set that I love every single one. So I'll, I'll make my own tweaks and everything like that, and I'll show you how in a second. So here we have, at the very end will be our, our brush. So we double click on that, there it is, dab. So let's, um, we can close this now, no need to save it. Um, you can save this if you'd like, I don't need, I already have this saved somewhere else, I don't need to save it again. Um, but if you have like a lot of different uh, brushes, on there that you like to use. Here's a piece I've, I've kind of been working on here and there. It's a Mr. Freeze piece. It's by uh, Brent McKee. Awesome artist. Uh, let me just turn off what I had so far as far as the colors and I'll just start something behind it. Uh, so here's what our brush looks like now. Not too exciting. Uh, what we'll do, we'll go to our, our brush settings. Uh, we could just click on the shape dynamics. What we could do, we can mess with the size jitter, and down here we'll get like a nice little preview of what we have going on. If we mess with the angle jitter a little bit too, every time we hit down, it'll shift it around. So, so that that'll like really uh, 
add it, uh, make it look more, a lot more interesting. So that way you're not seeing the same shape all the time. Again, with scattering, we'll scatter that a little bit more too. Uh, texture, you can do a lot of a lot of great, uh, interesting things with this. I could do. I have like a watercolor texture in here. Uh, let me see if I can find one that we can try out. It's interesting. This is at uh, 30 30 percent flow again. Like I never really mess with my opacity. I'm always messing with the flow to adjust how how I want it to look. Uh, it's just something I do. It's it's a lot easier for me. Um, it goes back to speed with opacity. Like I can't hit my my number keys on my keyboard. It won't change. But if I hit it's like fifth like if I want fifty percent flow, I just hit five on my uh, on my keyboard. If it's on the airbrush setting, it'll go to fifty percent. If I want thirty percent, I just hit three. Or I could hit zero one, then I'll take it down to one percent. Zero five five percent. Uh, again, I'm always just adjusting that stuff instead of uh, uh, instead of coming up here messing with sliders. For me, it, it just takes too long. It's I just love my uh, my number keys. Uh, let's see what else can we add on here. I didn't like the texture too much. Kind of cut it down. And this when we scanned it in, it already had a little bit of uh, texture on it from the paper. Um, let's see, could mix in some color dynamics. What that'll do, that'll just uh, mix in like the what settings you have for your foreground color and your background color. So you can build like nice elaborate uh, color palette without having to do a whole lot of work. So here it's like if I wanted to do like a quick tree in the background or something like that. You know, maybe add a little bit of yellow to it or something for highlights. Maybe not that much. Go a little bit lighter. Just makes blending your colors a, a, a lot easier. Let's add some blue for the shadows, but you, you get the idea of it. Um, let's see other settings we can do. That's usually most of the ones that I use. You get some inter other interesting effects. Uh, wet edges is pretty nice. It gets some nice textures for your pinups and stuff like that. Um, Again, I, I highly like each. Every person is going to have like their own, their own needs, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, so I highly recommend you go through and play with all the different settings and see. You know, find something that works best for you. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I got uh, for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me notes. I check them all uh, pretty often. Uh, comments, feel free to leave those as well. If there's some, uh, another topic you'd like me to cover, uh, please let me know. Send me a message here or on my DeviantArt account. So, lumage.deviantart.com. And that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.